It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. But today, two AFC teams set to do battle. It should be a good one, as it'll be the L.A. Chargers taking on the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Allen going to look to throw on the first play. Into the hands of the tight end, Dalton Kincaid. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. That's good for a Buffalo Bills. Allen going to throw. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. The Bills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. I know I spent a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers, but they're still big people. He used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They run for the first time with James Cook. That's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. All right, rifles run, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. At their own 39-yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They started on the ground with that one. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Go, go, go. Ram, ram, ram. Go. Now it's Herbert. Buying time to his left. And that is caught. It's Davis. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A big pickup of 38. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. He releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I think he had to know that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. Out left, he's got it to Everett. Touchdown, Chargers! Gerald Everett. From 17 yards out. And the Chargers have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And it's now a 7 0 game. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, or they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. 
Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. He's to the 15. Touchdown, Bills. Stephon Diggs. 78 yards. And the Bills are an extra point away from drawing level. It's Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven. So I'll leave it at 7 now as they kick it away. And they're going to have good starting field position. He's out of bounds, but not before he's across the 35. The Charger drive about to get going. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and who side can step up and assert its will over the other. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And this is what you want to see from the defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they're ready to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. A big play here for Buffalo. 48 yards. On play action, Allen. Flush to his right. Got a man on the right sideline. It's Morris. 23 yards, the final tally. To throw, it's Allen. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. First down, a bit of a disaster. And now on second and goal, back even further. Allen now looks to throw. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. And the Chargers are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick, whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity but didn't get it because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone, and that allows the defense to tighten up their coverage, and they pick that one off. Here's second and ten. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Allen's got it complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. On second down, Eckler. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion of the first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Herbert 
back on third down now. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're going to get the football back again. They snap it to Herbert. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. So this offense able to convert on fourth. And now a fresh set of downs here. First and ten. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain. Second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Herbert throws complete to Williams. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 23. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. does reach the five another big hitter there this one good for 18 two big plays in succession not sure this d knows what hit him but now they got to get ready it's first and goal and he's able to get it down to the two yard line a pickup of four on first down it'll be second and goal second quarter two minutes to go tie ball game second and goal and they will try again from the two yard line Eckler is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Trying to punch it in with Eckler. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Austin Eckler taking it in from two yards out. And the Chargers have taken the lead. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and that makes the score 14-7. to Now after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects him. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they throw four or five picks, and they will hurt their team, they will hurt their confidence. They'll think something which is wrong with the ball or the wind or something is funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. And Cook has it, left side. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. On second down, here's Allen. Flushed out right. And he wisely will throw that one away. And that's a wise decision. Remember, he threw the pick on the last drive. This time he says, I'm not forcing one. I'm just getting it out of here. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Throwing on first down is Allen. Rolling to his right. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. This second and four. Now Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one as he's tackled at the 15. The Charger drive about to get going. 
as they will take over here with a little more than 30 seconds remaining. On first down, Justin Herbert. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. So after the INT, it's Allen escaping the pressure right. And complete right side to Cook. Touchdown! James Cook as the first half is winding down. And the Bills have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Tyler Bass now for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Here's Darius Davis on the return. And able to get this out to the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. I feel like I can see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw going to be caught by Davis. Still going inside the 20. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far and fun to watch. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Charger drive about to get going. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Eckler are going to get it again on second down. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. And they're going to speed things up here. Being chased out left. Herbert able to show his wheels as he gets the first. How many times do we hear that third down may be the most important down in football? And there's no better example than what we just saw right there. Forced to scramble, knows where the first down marker is, dies for it, and gets it. What a big time play putting his body on the line to pick up a key first down. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. 
58 yards rushing for him now to this point. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more of a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And he is going to have the Chargers first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. They'll try the air now with Herbert. Eluding the pressure right. That is caught. It's Williams. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Running on first down, Eckler. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. When you look at the geography we're staring at, this part of the field, don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it in? Instead, look at him. And this time he is in. Yes. Austin Eckler. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And they will take a seven-point lead. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch-up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back. A wide open, complete. Look at the big man rumble. And the way home for a Bills touchdown. Quentin Morris, 74 yards. And the Bills have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are all tied at 28. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Charger drive about to get going. And these two teams have traded touchdowns so far with their first possessions here in the third quarter, so we're right back to where we started at intermission. Yeah, how about that? Tied at the half, tied after the first two drives of the third quarter, one for each. That tells me that someone's defense has got to step up and make a big play and try and change the momentum of this game. Now Herbert. That's complete to Austin Eckler, the running back. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Eckler now between the tackles. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with little pep in their steps. They start to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete and he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 31 yard line last play they got stuffed at the line different story here over 20 yards 
So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory, down at the 31. Good give, Eckler running to the right. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Once more, here's Eckler. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. This Buffalo crowd letting him have it. Third down now. Now it's Herbert. And that is incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes that he'd been seven on seven in practice. Or maybe even routes versus air. Because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there. A big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. This is first and ten. Quickly out wide to Davis. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. When you call a wide receiver screen, no matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball, there's still an aspect of the guy catching it, turning into a runner, breaking tackles and creating his own yardage, and he just did on that play. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Bears football here as we get you reset. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. A big play looming on third down. Now Allen. Sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Michael Davis. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Charger first down, and that should be the one that gets him to the finish line. A gain of nine yards, and the Chargers first down. They'll try the right side with Eckler, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Third and three. They'll 
try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. He's locked up. Well, CD, for the losing side, they had opportunities in this one, but big plays just didn't go their way, especially late, and they have to suffer the L here. It certainly felt like that takeaway once it happened and knocked the wind out of their sails, and they just couldn't get their equilibrium back. We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Start on the ground with Swift. And he's got some space here. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Now Hurts on the option right. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48 yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, no, no, almost no. get into a ball sometimes, stack no, no. things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find Tiger a hole. No, no. Second down, here's Hurts. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. A game there at 21 yards. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. On second down, Swift. And he's able to work three for about six down to the 18. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They moved it well, but here's third down. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Throwing his hurts. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Allen going to try and run. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 
It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Off the play fake. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Offense is moving him a little bit. Had him back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try him out of stand before they're backed up even further. Flush to his right. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Back to throw, Allen. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And on the last drive... They were in field goal range. They just hopped in that. There he goes, right side. Across midfield. DeAndre Swift. And he takes it all the way down to the 22. 85 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. First down. First and 10 at the 22 yard line. But first down hurts. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. He was covered by Kyir Elon. Now a give right side swift. Five yards. Now it's third and five. No score after one on EA Sports. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Out, out, out. Hey, 73. Ah. Hurts. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. Touchdown. Well, it turns out it's not their offense who gets him on the board first CD. It's the defense coming through right there with a pick six. And I know from experience throughout the week when you go against the offense, you're challenging them all the time. You're letting them know, hey, don't worry about scoring this week. We'll take care of it. We'll get a few pick sixes and score ourselves. You're just kidding. But how about what he just did right there? Laid it out for the rest of the game. We scored. Hey, offense, can you keep up with us? And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Jordan Phillips breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. Under pressure, they got him again. Ed Oliver, that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Deontay Hardy back deep. Fielded at the 33. It'll go as a 50-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, 
They may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And this is not going to be enough. He's in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Allen going to go on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. 1.57 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Here's second and three. Here's Hertz to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That was not a real confident throw right there. It's just two of seven to start the game. Now he's going to have to find a groove with a big third down coming up. Let's see if his confidence can increase. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. Out now is the punter, Braden Mann. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. On first down, Allen. And that's going to be incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. On second down, Cook. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Throwing his Allen on third. Flushed out right. And he's able to get up here to the 26. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. This is taken at the 18. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get in the field goal range. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll bring up second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Hurt sets up to throw it. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Oh, and now some trickery. They fake the spike. And that'll be caught. 
And he will get out of bounds and pick up the first down. So they catch the defense napping, and the fake spike works to move the chains. Caught the defense napping a little bit there, expecting the spike, faked it, completed the pass. You have to be prepared for everything nowadays. You can't just go off of the look, oh, they're going to spike it and relax. Now they complete passes downfield, and usually in key situations, this is a tough one for a defense. They'll throw now on the final play. Forced out to his left. Burns fumbles it. Now this is picked up by the Bulls. But they will not be able to capitalize as time has run out here on the first half of play. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis operating Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Just the one touchdown in that first half. Seven nothing our score as we get going in quarter number three. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it's third and four now. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Allen. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. And the Bills first down. First down, here's the run with Cook. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen, they'll roll him out right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and they have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. And a short game there down to the 37-yard line. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Now Allen. Eagle pressure. Too much this time. Got it goes. For the first time this game, multiple defenders in there to drop him. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Oh, what was he thinking there? It's easily intercepted. Picked off by Isaiah Rodgers. And the Eagles are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on for it there. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They got the ball now, following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. That's the linebacker, Matt Milano, getting up and stopping him for a loss. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Well, that gives them a little room, but not much. A gain of two to the five. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. 
On the return, Hardy. A nice return that time. Gets 12 yards back. And they will take over first and 10. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room. Maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and 10. Only a yard on the game there as time will run out on this third quarter of play. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Second and nine. Allen now looks to throw. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. We've seen these defense make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low score. Flying around, making plays on the ball. And we see yet another Aaron throw as a result. Now Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. A run there with Cook not going to accomplish much. Call it no gain. Second down coming up. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. On play action. Allen. Leading the pressure right. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 40. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it. As we come up on a big third down. Here's Allen to throw it. That is caught. Touchdown, Bills. Gabriel Davis. 30 yards. And the Bills have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Bass on for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. Makes the score, Bills 14, Eagles nothing. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And pretty good field position here. He's out of bounds right at the 35. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all, because we're talking about the NFL, and teams can score fast in this league. Quick strikes, you're right back in it. You're exactly right, keeping hope alive. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. And that pretty much has been the storyline, Charles. This defense, they seem to be one step ahead from the start of the game until now. And you identified it perfectly, and we can see the frustration that's settling in now. And it's probably been there for a long time, but now it's evident because you can see it in their faces, you can see it in their body language, maybe even a little bit in that play call that ended up maybe closing them out. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Kevin Byard up to make the tackle. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. On third down, they're going to go with the option. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Now, this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. 
And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 44 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little courage there to call the run, and boy, they were successful. Points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They run it again with Cook. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Third down, here's a run by Cook. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they did. And look at this. It's a fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They'll come up first and ten here. Hey, Silver, Silver, Silver. Hey! No touch that! Hey! Hey, 73, 73! Hey, let's go. No Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. It's caught on the right side at Smith. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice, long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills, and they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I uh, mean, you did know. enough, though. Did enough. But yeah, you're right. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the L.A. Chargers taking on the Buffalo Bills. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. play from scrimmage second down out of the gun Herbert that's complete to Austin Eckler the running back and he'll be taken down right away up near midfield at the 47 good work after the catch gonna net him 23 and a first Herbert will give this one to Eckler and he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. 
Back to throw here, Herbert. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. The good signal callers will never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly. And that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Here's Herbert. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 30. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. So first and 10 now from the 30. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Herbert throws complete to Williams. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Eckler, they run left side. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler, a 15-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that makes the score 7-0. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 21. They start the drive with Cook. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. They run again on first down. Cook. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Play action. Now it's Allen. Gets this one to Morris. It'll be a gain of five. And now we've got a third and three. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Here's third and three. To throw, it's Allen. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Bills first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. On play action, Allen. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. That sack by Khalil Mack. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. A give to Cook out of the gun. Now inside the 25. And all the way home for the Bills touchdown. James Cook, 60 yards. And the Bills respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. The extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Charger drive about to get going. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And only eight 
able to get two here, stopped at the 30. These two teams all tied after one. Charger football to start quarter number two as they've got it with a third down coming up. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Eckler. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Herbert. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The defense gets to the quarterback that quickly. A lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and forced an incompletion. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. I like the call. I look like the right time to dial up the running back screen. But this one got disrupted right from the start and ends up falling incomplete. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. He's got Allen. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38. Well shy of the first down. They snap it to Herbert. a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Not often do fourth down conversions result in 23 yards, but that's the case here. First down. Eckler now between the tackles. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. From the 29, here's second and a yard. Here's Herbert. Williams brings it in. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. Eckler. He's going backwards as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Eckler again. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. Boston Eckler with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chargers have taken the lead. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, and they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive, so we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The one with the dime looked on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That's allowed them to disrupt the play. Allen going to try and throw on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Allen. throw this one away, but I don't think he was out of the pocket. No, here comes the flag. 
Yeah, he hadn't gotten far enough away from the pocket to throw that football away, and that draws the flag. Yeah, the old tackle box, right? Get outside of each tackle, and then you can go ahead and throw it away, and you're in good shape. But if you're back there in the pocket, you got to make sure of what you're doing. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. One thing you always worry about when he breaks the pocket is, is he going to take off with it? That time, the pressure was starting to close in, and he's just got to throw this one away. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 44-yard line. Up the middle, it's Cook. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Allen trying to hurry everybody up to the line of scrimmage. Now Allen throwing on second down. Flush to his right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. I thought at first he'd try to run, but he just kept buying time to his right. Finally, nothing there. He wisely gets rid of it. Throwing his Allen on third. Flushed out right. And he is caught. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 11 yards for number 11. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. His throw incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives him a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. And well, they're going to have a first down, and they're in field goal range as well. It's a down inside the 20. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. That is caught inside the five. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Allen now looks to throw. This is Cook. Touchdown! James Cook. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. The extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. Tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Charger drive about to get going. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. On second down, here's Herbert. That is caught. It's Williams. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. On first down, Justin Herbert. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waiting moments in quarter number two. And he hits the upright, but it caroms in anyway. But plenty of distance there as he banks it in. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break.
Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. A field goal the difference. 17-14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. To the air, Allen escaping the pressure right. And he'll just get rid of him. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're... Oh, poor decision there, and it's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And the Chargers are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They'll start at the 40, so great starting field position following the interception. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, forthcoming. They'll come up second and seven. Once more, here's Eckler. And he'll be stopped at the 46, gain of three. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we has them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make the play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Eluding the pressure right. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 34. Up the middle with Eckler. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Second down and six now. The handoff, it's Eckler. 62 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. It appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. Running on first down, Eckler. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. They'll try the air now with Herbert. Flush to his right. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two there. Second down. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. But he is going to be smothered in the backfield again as he ran into a wall there. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. Justin Herbert looking to pass. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Now Herbert with it. 
it, looking to pass. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Pullian. And the Bills are right back in this football game. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And now they're in the hurry up. On second down, Cook. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now give to Cook on the read option. And he's got Rome. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards to pick up there, and also a first down. Gun, it's Allen. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Khalil Mack picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, they'll come up now. This is second and long. Sliding out of the pocket. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Here now, third down. Tight, tight, tight. Throwing Allen. That's caught by Kincaid working the middle of the field. And he'll get this only to about the 38 as they stop him a few yards shy of the line to gain. Another big play in a game that's had plenty of them. Fourth and two. Here's Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to be set up down around the 15 yard line. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Now Allen. First down, here's the run with Cook. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Here we go. First and goal. Allen. They'll run with Cook, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Now they get the timeout. It leads you to wonder, will they kick it here or risk running another play and possibly not getting down in time? We'll see. Flushed out right. Ben, I think he's just grateful to get back to the line of scrimmage and avoid not just losing yardage, but a big hit on that play as well. That defense closed on him quick and forced a quick surrender out of bounds. And his kick here is good. And the Bills have tied the game here in the fourth. Four quarters not enough for all even, and to overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? So four quarters couldn't settle a winner, and now the Chargers going to get the first opportunity here in OT as the kick is away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. A big mistake last time they were on the field, tossing that interception inside the red zone and really taking away what had been a pretty successful drive up to that point. Yeah, and I don't think there's any question about it. As they head out on the field for this drive, that whole offensive unit is just thinking redemption. You know, they moved it really well, didn't pay it off. This time, they want to make sure that ball ends up in the end zone, and they're the ones possessing it. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They drive to try to keep this opening drive of overtime moving. Third and seven. First throw in overtime for Herbert. He's got his target. That's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. It'll go as an impressive 31 yard gain. Right, right, right. 
Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And the big boys up front. They're going to stop him right at the line. No gain on the play there. A second down. It's Eckler again. And he'll take this one down to the 36. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 31 yard line. And Oliver, he's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. And no move to get Herbert off the field. They're going for this. Here we go on fourth. Herbert. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And the Bills are going to get the football back. Here's Allen on first and ten. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And all the way home for the Bills touchdown. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. So it's a win here for the Bills. And this one, Charles, just too much Josh Allen. Yeah, the numbers don't jump off the page, but it was a steady influence back there. He had a couple of touchdown passes on the afternoon.